The next muscle we're going to go over is your levator scapulae. So the origin of your levator scapulae is on the posterior tubercles, basically of your transverse processes of C1 to C4, as you can see here. And then it's going to insert on the medial border above the spine of the scapula. And it's going to be innervated by your dorsal scapular nerve coming off of primarily textbooks will say C5, but some will say C4 and C5. And it also has some innervation from cervical nerves, C3 and C4. The action of the levator scapulae, you can see here, is that it's going to elevate and downwardly rotate your scapula. So again, downward rotation is when the glenoid starts to point down and you're rotating your scapula so that the inferior border is moving more medially and the glenoid is pointing down again. This muscle, you can see again, it has this slight coming from your spine and going more in a posterior fashion. So it can hold a lot of tension, especially with forward head posture and can be a contributor of some cervical genic headaches. If you have a lot of excessive tension here, that's compressing your cervical spine and some of the nerves too. So the functional application of your levator scapulae is that it contributes to this downward rotation of the scapula, but more importantly, it's gonna act on your cervical spine. So bilaterally, it's gonna create cervical extension and unilaterally, it's going to create ipsilateral lateral flexion. So lateral bending to the same side of which side is contracting. To stretch your levator scapulae, you're going to go into contralateral lateral flexion and some cervical flexion looking downwards, and that is going to stretch out your levator scap on the opposite side. Also, what I see clinically is that if you have poor scapular stability, the levator scap tends to hold a lot more tension, tries to provide a little bit more scapular stability, but this is not the most ideal way to make up for lack of scapular stability. So that could be an issue too. If you have poor scapular stability, you might be overusing your levator scapulae and that could be problematic for head posture, neck tightness, and things like that. Hopefully you can use this information and apply it to your training, your clinical practice or coaching practice. And if you like this video, hit the like button below, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or feedback, drop it in the comments below and stay tuned for more anatomy videos in the future. Aloha.